It's Tuesday, May 6, 2014. I'm Ariel Nunez, and from our CBS studios in New York City, welcome to the 404. What's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to the 404 show. I'm Jeff Bacalar. Another very special show we got today. Very special. You heard it here first. That's confirmation. I Confirmed. Like I like that when guests reciprocate. Reciprocating in progress. I love it. Uh, my guest, he's right here, uh, the comedian and host of the insanely popular WTF podcast. I'm a big fan of that. So Thank you. for doing that. And the star and creator of Marin, which debuts its second season this Thursday, May 8th on IFC at yes. 10 p.m. Eastern time. Sure. I believe you. That's what they tell me. I th that sounds right to me. The PDF said all that. You're going to confirm that. I've, I'm confirmed. Thanks for coming back, Mark. Nice to see you. It's always a pleasure having you here. Thank you. So uh, well, you... Let's not say always. It's only been once. It's t this is twice. So, yeah, twice this is a be... thing. Right. After this, it would be always. All right. So every minute. It was May. nice having you that one time. We'll see what happens. You know what, though? Like I said to you before we started yeah. recording, the fact that you agreed to come back, huge win for me. Well, I was told that there was a big new studio, and you seem to have moved up from something that looked like your home to something that looks perhaps like a, a high school television production situation. Right, like a basement. <laughs> no, this looks like uh, than a basement. This looks like a class. It looks like, okay, uh, the, there should be people learning here. Okay. Like I think all it, the cameras should be manned with people that don't know how to run cameras. It's the digital age, and they don't need humans behind them. Is that true? Oh, yeah. You just leave them there? They just leave them there. But then you don't get any of those fun pan shots. So you got the close-up? Can you do that with the remote? Not yet. No. Nope. As oh, you can see. See, <laughs> see, like you're just cutting back and forth from stationary cameras. So, exactly. Yeah, it's got that feeling of like a high school television class. I'm 32, though, so it's like making me feel bad. that I, I don't you, Look, you, you know, know if, if people are watching... That's what the number. The numbers can't lie. I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm no, just I trying know. to be honest. I mean, I feel I, like I, mean, I do. You know, you do have that relationship with your listeners where it's like a one way thing. Uh -huh. Like we all kind of think yeah. we know you. Yeah, you do. S same way. You your know, listeners I, do. We have that. Weird, so they know that this is sort of like they a, get it. They get it. It's a it's a duct tape and dreams job. It's, be, it's better than the last studio though. Thank you. There's some woodwork here. Fine woodwork. This yeah. is handcrafted. What was this left over from? Uh, there was some sort of like Detroit fallout. And we got the fruits of that demise. Really? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm making it up. Oh, I don't know. That, was this on another show? You had this built for your show? This was built for our show. Can it you was? believe it? Yeah, all this. Did they have the guys who were learning how to do it do it? Well, you know, we the look, we, this is a CBS production, so the budget wasn't what you say a lot. I know. Okay. Yeah, so we had to make do. We got lights, though. Those, those, those change colors, man. No, I think it's great. What's your setup like? It's not, as, it's not as nice as this. <laughs> uh, I know, you know, every time I like hear you, oh, I listen to... It's an illusion, though. That, dude, that's the magic. The magician never like turns the, the table this around. It's like, hey, magic. it's all levers it's and not crap. not a piece of furniture. It, it sort of is. It's, no, it's just a top. Man. But back here, there's... I don't know, there's... This is like deconstruction week on 404. All of our... He's hanging out all of our Thank junk. God we got some of these. <laughs> Case we gotta put something up to hang something back here. Those are lifesavers, man. For, really? Yeah. For what? For like hanging stuff up in emergency yeah. situations. What do you need to hang up under this in emergency? Oh, the wires. The wires. The All right. W right? Sure. You're you're on board? Yeah, I'm good. All right. All right. Just want to make sure. Just don't break anything. What's that? Lens solution. I guess it's for emergency contact. Or yeah, glasses situation malfunctions. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Do you know where this came from? Oh, I would imagine some sort of like Dwayne Reed or something. I wasn't asking, oh, no, like, whose is this? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's camera lens, not like a uh, contact lens. lens. Formulated to, for soft contact lenses. Oh, I can't read shit then. So you're clearly not, it's not for you. It's not for me, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I need some of it though. Hey man. Okay, that was my Robin Williams style riffing. No, you had way more energy under, than Robin Williams. No, no, I did not. <laughs> How are you feeling, man? Ooh, you feeling I'm tired, good? man. I flew out. I flew in on a red eye. Yeah, that's but I'm, the like, worst. I'm ready to talk. Yeah, it's all right. I got you know the first first class, not business. Sure. So I'm, I was in, in I have my middle. own pod, where where now on, on American Airlines you got your own pod where you can actually lay in a bed. And that's not first first class. That's first first class. Oh, there you go. So you traveled in style. Why? Well, I, I they wanted me to do it, and sure. I said, well, I, if you want me to get any sleep at all. I'm going to need to be able to lay down. Right. So you but did it. I had no idea it was going to be that nice. Like right. they, These are new. Did you sleep, though? 
a couple hours. Stop, I can never fall asleep on a on a you unless there's drugs. A bed. Yeah, I've never had that. Yeah, it's a yeah, bed. I gotta try. That. But like now, I'm gonna have to. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix was in the pod in front of me. Oh yeah. Yeah. So any interaction or just None. sort of like I did go to the bathroom and I watched him sleep for a few seconds. But just I, didn't want, I didn't want to linger. No. That'd be weird. Especially if you make eye contact. He well, wakes no, up. I don't know if he woke up. He's like, what's up, dude? I'm just a big fan. Never seen you do this role before. Right. You're doing it real well. You're, you're a natural. You, yeah. You're sleeping <laughs> in a method way. Method you, sleeping. I love it. Are you, are you happy, man? Because every time I listen to your show, it's like mixed. It's like some days you come out and you're like, oh, you know, I hate this yeah, X, Y, Z. You're always on for the interviews, yeah. obviously. You always make that work. Right. But sometimes. Well, I mean, isn't that like everybody? What, are you happy? I, I think for the most, I don't like a lot of stuff, but mostly I'm happy. Like, uh -huh. I hate most everything. So, that's, I, that, so how, that sounds like me. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I'm happier than I was. Why some is things that? are, well, I don't know, because things are okay. Yeah. You know, I got some money saved. Okay. I'm making a living. That's good. I have health insurance. You're doing it. Yeah. I'm well, all that, right. That was the thing. Last time you were on, I think uh, you had your book coming out as well. Mm hmm. And uh, it you came out again. It came out again, in like paperback. on soft yeah. paper? Okay. Soft, yeah. That's true. what they call it, soft paper. Soft cover, yeah. All right. I that's, think you made that up. That might have. That's yeah, maybe great. Maybe soft cover. Soft cover? Well, and paperback. Do people buy real books anymore? A few people. Yeah. Yeah, some people like to hold books. How many do you do better with Kindle or like real copies? I don't know. You'd have to ask the publisher. Do you, you think I'm up that? on that? You I want do. Me, you think I have an app? It tells me how my I book is doing. I think you get like an email every day that no, says, look, get, Mark, I, you did X, Y, Z. Nah, I get a quarterly report that shows it'll never make the money back that they gave me. Real, like yeah. the advance for the... Oh, sure. I have two books out there like that. So you're in debt to the publisher? I don't know. I'm not going to look at it that way. They rolled the dice. I had nothing to do with That's it. That's what I'm talking about. You really? It's Were you positive. talking about that? No, but okay. I'm agreeing with your statement. <laughs> Work with me, man. <laughs> um, I just want to give you a hard time. Today. I know. It's fine. We're, we, go, fine? we go way back to that one time. And the other studio, this is a whole new environment for me. I don't know. It, it feels, feels like maybe your head's gotten a little bigger because the environment's gotten bigger. You really think so? Oh. Do you? Because I get self-conscious about that shit. Do you? Yeah, well, you now you're in cocky? my head. You no, cocky? You're, I never get cocky. I have nothing to show for anything I've ever done. What do you I have, do? A, did you I have look a high at the... school studio that I've been told. That's oh, where see? I have to show I for I touched my... a nerve. You did. No, you got half a table. I have a table that and You was... got lights that change colors. That's a big now, deal. I wouldn't even go into what happened with the mic before. I've got Mark Marin sitting to my left. That, That's that, something. That is something. There's but value that, but there. I'm going to go soon, and you'll still be left with whatever is going on with you. But the memory of our relationship will live on. And it'll be, you can watch it anytime you want to. Some guy, yeah. last time you were on, right. what was it, Yahoo? Some guy did a story. The best podcast you're not listening to, or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you were on that list, because apparently... I know a lot of people. It was a while ago, right? Maybe it was last year, last May. Well, maybe a lot of people. Man, I mean, most people don't listen to podcasts. Period. Right. So. We're still under the radar for sure. the most part. Uh, this guy did a story about the best podcast you're not listening to, the front thumbnail. Guess who it was? It who? was you on our show. Hey, hey. So I'm like, yeah. sick. This guy's totally gonna be like 404. Check it out. Got Hidden gem, right? Hidden, Hidden gem. gem. Yeah. No mention of us whatsoever. Well, who were they talking about? They were talking about you. No. Oh. And they took a grab from our freaking show with the 404 like bug in the corner. Right. And I'm like, what the hell? And I I reach out to the guy on Twitter and I'm like, hey, you toolbox, like spread the wealth. You call them a toolbox. Uh, some is that variation. something you call people? I call, is that weird? It is weird. I like, your big, I like it. Your big fruitcake toolbox. Are you afraid to cuss? Were you brought up in a family that didn't cuss? No, I was cussed at. I oh. learned how to cuss from my parents. Oh, so now... Be, I say it, curse. It's like an East Coast it, thing. It, it traumatized you to where you don't cuss anymore? You call people toolboxes and I sailboats? Think, I think when you don't curse, yeah. the, the creativity of the pejorative is uh is, is what, what really matters what hits i've heard that but still the the power of cursing is resonates I mean, I mean we don't say f on the show every now and then right. we let out a little shit like that but that's a shit, a just like shit. a tiny little uh, you know occasionally but you do you have the freedom to cuss if you want before cbs bought uh cnet oh but then cbs came in and now, and now it's Moonves all toolboxes like, and hammerheads <laughs> exactly okay those in that order yeah got it <laughs> All right, we're accomplishing so you, a lot today. You, you, tweeted, you tweeted the guy. I tweeted him, and he played dumb for a little bit, and then some of our listeners started getting on his case oh, or yeah? whatever. You, and you then sick to your army on him. Uh, not really. It organically happened. Grassroots. A little bit. Yeah. Or this organic sort of sure, sure. non-threatening like, hey, they're, movement. They're, they're not giving our guys the props. Right? You, yeah. you took a grab from our show. No credit on the grab, but you got to do that. No credit on the grab. That should be, your, your, that should be like a something. 
I'll put it on a shirt, like a bumper a segment, sticker. A yeah. segment. For the no credit on the grab. I like that. I like it. You heard it here first. You said it. Can you, I acknowledged it. For, and you, you validated and I it. I validated it and confirmed. Excellent. Yes. The Marin stamp of approval. Well, I think it's catchy. All right, good. Figure out what you can do with it. Pocket. Yeah, maybe you can put it on the front of this half a table. Yes, the table. I know. See? It's not doing this, it. I'm hitting the nerve. The nerve, the nerve again. Damn it. You think you should be further along, don't you? <sighs> At this point in my life or like <laughs> yeah. with the show right now? Both. Are you going to do this to me? I don't know. What about, I don't know. Well, let's turn it around. What about you? You happy with where you're at now? Oh, we're back to that. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. I can play baseball too oh, with sorry, the best buddy. of them. I, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't mean to to, uh, to interview jujitsu. I learned it by watching you and you listening did. to you because you're the one who's like, oh, I'm 50. <laughs> Shit sucked. Oh, you know? Really? Am and, I that guy? And I listened to every day. I walk through the streets of Manhattan occasionally. With if I like the guest, I'll listen and I'll put it in my wow. In my now ear. it's occasionally. Took two shots at me. I'm, yeah, These are not shots. Alley. These are not shots. Oh, you never even listen to I listen show. occasionally. I don't even know how to get your show. Is it a video? It's the same way people get your show, man. I don't watch anything. How are you going to get to the top of me watching nothing? I mean, like, the thing is, like, with me, and I love what you're doing here. This has been very good. I'm learning from you. You're going you're gonna to yeah. do huh? s- Yeah? What, you like it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go on. I'm listening. I want to learn a lot. You saw full of the, you saw full of the beans earlier. We get, is it going to be all right? It's not okay now, is it? It used to be all right. Yeah. Now, no. 30 now, seconds ago. Always happen. Always happy I'm on the show. Oh, twice. <laughs> One and a half times. And we're at the end of our relationship. Look. We have. I want the relationship I don't listen to go anything. on. You yeah. seem to do a good job. I would listen to it. I would lie and say I do listen to it. But I don't really listen to much of anything. I listen to the radio. I respect your honesty. Uh, I'm, I'm happier. Uh, things are going okay with yeah. the career. Personal life is up and down. Sure, uh, I am fifty. That yeah. wears on. You look me good for 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 that. Everyone, it. you know, you always look says good like for what forty two, right? What do you think? Be honest. Thirty two. Perfect. Yeah, you told me earlier. Okay. All right. So I was giving. I gave you that. No, I gave you, you that. I was just listening. I gave That's one of the first tricks of the interviewer. Listen. Uh huh. All right. We're yeah. on the same page. You want to ask me if I'm happy again? Well, I, I found out a little bit of that because I can. I care, man. I care. Like I said before, man. We have this weird one-way relationship. Yeah. And I care. Well, I'm like, man, that. I don't want him to be all banged up. He seems that things are going pretty well. With I'm a little guy. banged up. I don't think there's no way. I, I could not. I think I, if I stop letting myself get banged up, that would be a good idea. Yeah. I can't unbang myself. Uh, it's, it's not without walking funny. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was good. Right? Yeah. Uh, is there a thing that goes bing? Come on. Yeah. That, was, that didn't need a rim shot. Joke. That was okay. That, that was good. Have flown I just wanted to score. I want points or something. We'll put the counter up Thank and you. post. You tweet out a lot of things that concern me. Mm. Can we can we enter that realm sure. for a Let's second? Do it. Yeah, I, I'm not in complete control over that, <laughs> and I'm emotional sometimes. How? Wh- wh- what do you mean emotional? I don't. Sometimes I tweet stuff. It's not a great idea. Like, what are you concerned about? Well, you said something like, "I'm," you're like, "I'm done with having people hurt myself." I'm done. I'm almost done with y- using other people to, to hurt, hurt myself. Yeah. What's the, what is that? That's, what does that mean? It's deep. It is deep. So what, what were you trying to say? Y'all tangled up with it thought about it for a good minute yeah what it means is like getting into relationships that are not that are destructive to me and that's it kind of like a lot of times you get in relationships and you don't realize like you think like oh maybe this is just the way this goes and you realize well, it's kind of hurting me sure so what do i stay here for right i don't have to stay here it, you gotta you gotta weigh it out is this a lesson that you've learned a few times in yes life? yeah yeah i mean i tend to 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 date the last few times, like fairly high maintenance people, and, sure. and it, it, you know it, it gets a little painful. And now I'm not saying I'm perfect; I'm a little sensitive. I, I got my own problems, and maybe I'm self I'm self uh, self centered. But like, I mean, you do know after a little while, like, well, this is not emotionally; it's a little, it's taxing; it's it's causing me pain. But we stay in shit. Okay, can I say it there? You can. All right, that was the perfect use of it. We stay in stuff, and and I just you know I'm trying to close, you know, to minimize. The duration, if it's not healthy. Okay. Like I have to assess, well, is it going to get better? Are these problems with me? Are they older than me? If they're older than me, how am I going to make them better? You know, it's a lot of things. I do a lot of thinking. You do a lot of thinking. Do you think you overanalyze stuff too much? (sighs) I have an answer to that. I want to hear what you said. I think maybe relationships, but not generally. Yeah. 
Like I, I don't think I overly analyze everything. I don't, I don't overanalyze my career or where I'm at and that kind of stuff. But I think with relationships, yes. Okay. Is that All what right. you think? I think a little bit with relationships, yeah. family stuff, sure. Yeah. Yeah, the family stuff I, I could let go of, but some of it's very active. It's hard to let go of things if it's still happening. Right. Not just on my it's side. It's an ongoing process sure. that... If it's ongoing, it requires analysis. Right. I'll, or else you just shut the door on it. I'm there with you. I do that sometimes, too. You shut the door? Yeah, but sometimes it's hard to keep it shut. Sometimes you plug, yeah. Yeah, but it's hard. Yeah, I understand. Because, you know, you, you want to engage with, right. the, with the crazy. Can't just let them. sleeping dogs lie sometimes. Not if they're your dad. No. <laughs> that is very specific and I'm sure true. Um, these are all themes explored in, in your television show. Yes, they are. Second season. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, what can we expect season two with, with Marin? Or how deep does the rabbit hole go? Well, the theme or the tone is that I'm, I'm slightly more successful. Things are starting to happen. And I'm trying to get comfortable with that and trying to figure, find my way through that. Right. So there is some stuff with my family um, that's pretty funny. There's some stuff with other comics. There's, more, there's some more comedy stuff in it. Like I, I didn't really explore my life as a stand-up in the first season. Right. Um, there, it, there's a lot to do with like having a little more success, having expectations for bigger success, not really being able to handle a bit more success. But there's a lot of great episodes. There's a, some relationship stuff that relationship... Uh, comes to an end, another one begins, kinda. Um, there's a great episode with Sally Kellerman as my mother. There's um, a couple of mistake relationships. There's a therapy episode. There's an episode where I, I sort of tip my hat to radio. Right on. Uh, and and uh, I use some radio guys in it and talk, you know, the difference between radio and podcasting, the changing of the guard kind of thing. There's an episode in there about joke stealing. There's a, an episode about um, that revolves around, um, you know, how do you how do you remain friends with people who are who are desperate <laughs> okay stuff like that right there's a lot of stuff you look in at there. me and you smile mm -hmm. when you say desperate i, I didn't get it no I, you've I'm projected that you're projecting that see again i've hit a nerve and now you're assuming things I, it's it's an issue that yeah. i myself cannot close the door on yeah i know I it's hard to the the feeling that you're not doing what you need to be doing at the place you are in your life but how can anyone know that you know so you think I have a lot of like self-reflection to do? Well, no, clearly it's not your bag. And that self-analysis is not, you know, you <laughs> just took me to task for it. I mean, I, I mean, it's not your thing. So, I mean, I would, I would, I would go more towards self-analysis than towards things aren't working out. I mean, I have oh, okay. to leave it at that. All right. So right? it's like an open-ended sort of thing. Well, if things aren't working out, you could go like, well, where am I in my life right now? What do I expect? What do I need? What do I want? How do I make those things happen? Is it possible? Is yeah. it too late? Oh, see, now I'm right back where I started. Is that what you do? It's a, it's a vicious cycle of like <laughs> nonsense and, and just spiraling down. No, you're not going to spiral, dude. You're, this is good. You got half a table. I, it's a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boomerang. Is that more than... I don't know what that relates to with... Uh, I take a beating in the second season. Do you? Physically, emotionally? Both. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's right. A clip I saw, you got one right in the kisser. Got one, well, yeah. Got popped in the face. And uh, Michael Ian Black and Chris Hardwick take me to task. Sure. Speaking of which. You got a clip? I got a little clip. Oh, let's watch that. I think you set it up perfectly. Check out, uh, this is episode one, right? Yeah, it is. All right, episode one, Marin season two. Check out this clip. Oh, hey. Wow, hey, Michael. Look with the 20 feral cats that you live with dragged in. Yeah, that's very funny. How you doing? I'm okay, man. You? I'm good. I'm good. good. It's cool they booked you on this. I'm glad to see they're not just trying to appeal to young people. Hey, what's more fulfilling, hosting a game show or being on an Expedia commercial? Are they about the same? Or, or... Why, are you looking to break into show business? Wow, that was funny. Did Tom Lennon write that? You're not as funny as the Groucho mask that you're wearing. Ouch. Did okay. your nose actually get bigger since the last time that's I saw it? Because I didn't funny. think that was possible. That's very funny. Why don't you tell me Michael Ian Black was going to be here? I didn't know, but you two have a natural chemistry. Oh, is that what you call it? You'll make it work. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, is everybody psyched to be on the show? Yeah, I am. Mark, are you capable of feeling excitement, or is it uh, all just seething anger? OK, shut up, Michael. It's good to see you, you Michael. Too, well, how are you? Hey, Emily. Hey, Mark. Hey, Chris. Great to see you, man. Sure, I'm sure it is, yeah. Uh -huh. So you're a fan, apparently. That's yeah. great. What, uh, what's your favorite part of the show? Oh, uh, which show, Talking Dead or Walking Dead? Oh, pick one. Uh, well, the Talking Dead's good because you do the, you know, you thing, talk yeah, to we the, talk to right, the thing. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's about what I thought. Look, Mark, 
I don't enjoy you. You shit on me constantly. I didn't want you on the show. I don't enjoy you. You treat me like shit on a nonstop basis. I'm doing this as a favor to Emily, and I don't have to like it. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, you, you too. are so hilarious. You, you, you want to have dinner after the show? I would love to. Okay, great. So um, that relentless. Was, that was great. I watched it the in in post, and I was like, I don't get. A, I I really take a beating. I don't. I don't win at all. Yeah. And I decided that's good. You're good. At Taking the beating though, as as a as an actor, well, you know, you're comic. Like I never win those things. I'm no. I get too emotional with the put downs. Well, you do. Yeah, you know that on Twitter know. and in real life. That. Yeah. You so can. as soon as you you have emotions invested in that sure. in that game, yeah. it's over. Uh, speaking of which, a specific example, Michael Ian Black. Yeah. What What's the deal, man? Are you? I feel like. Is that the thinking? Like question? I'm about. Your, what is the deal? What is the deal? Where's my camera. That one? Sure, if you want it to be. Which one? Which one? Okay. Yeah, you look at that one. That one? You yeah. What's your now? Before you answer, what's the deal with Michael Ian Black? Because you kind of no one understands. Are they? Do they not like each other? What's the deal? I don't think it's clear to us. I think that there's. But you invited him on the show, and he was like, "Sure, I'll do." Oh no, it. no, we get no. along fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, so you're taking us for a ride? No, I think the emotions of what we do sometimes are real. It's probably more real on my side. Like he, he, but we're, uh, there, there, there is some, um, it's hard to tell. We're, we're, I, I always like seeing him. We're very polite. We're friends. I, I'll email him sometimes after we have Twitter fights. Well, I'll email him or he'll, he'll email me and go, you all right? And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. So Twitter's the stage. Kind of. You guys are professional wrestlers. It hurts my feelings. You guys are professional no. wrestlers. You go back and forth no. with fake fighting. No. And then when it's all over backstage, you're like, hey, that was a pretty no. good show. What do you no. think? No. 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 I no. think Usually, I just perfectly. No. Just, no. no. It, 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 like, no. If, if we went backstage and said, that was great. That was a good show. Yeah. It wouldn't be me going, you okay? I, th I think I'm okay. Yeah. Like, or, or apologizing. Okay. No. So, well, yeah. No, I'm not saying you would apologize. No, I do. You do. Sure. Did I you mean, say something that you think Black was like really upset about? No, he doesn't get upset. I get upset. I try to get him to apologize. Really? No. You just said yeah. <laughs> we sometimes like it gets gnarly, and sometimes we've pushed each other too far, and we and and, and we check in with each other after. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Don't you think it's just the way his humor goes and like the yeah, but I've, he annoys me and he always has and and that's real yeah. and it's gotten better later, like since since we start doing that, it makes it better because like you know he usually hands me my ass, and uh, well, he's got like a team of writers coming up with each tweet, right? I don't think so. Feels like it sometimes. But I think there's like a darkness there. I think you know when we see each other, we're always happy to see each other. But we are we are um, what what's the word I want? A little. Um, Passive aggressive. We're no, we're a lot passive yeah. aggressive, but no, we're we're like even though when we see each other, it's like, hey man, everything. Are, there's a your frenemies. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a, a, a what do I want? Reluctance. Sure, um, a bit of friction there. You guys are opposite, or you're the same magnetic pole. Maybe just pushing back. Yeah, it, it, but it's most we're good. You know, like I like he was on the show. It was good to see him, and we, you know, and we're we're good. But whenever we do that, it always hurts my feelings. Did you guys? And I. And I started a lot of times. You do? Because it's mostly your fault is what you're saying. No, it's just like a, you poke at him. You can't win with him. He's very good at being a snarky douchebag. Yeah. It's and, just that smug face Yeah, and I can't. Like, I'm, I immediately get very personal. And I really like through. him, though. Do you, don't you really like his stuff? Yeah. yeah. You know, like a wet hot guy? You like wet hot? Yeah, no, I, I, mean, I don't know if I ever saw it, actually. But, but no, I, I like his com comedic persona. Right. And he's not really like that. Sure. So that's good. That's, that's relieving. That's what that's, that's, I think it took me a while to realize that. Well, that's the tone of the email exchange is his, his normal right. It's stuff. like we're this is who we are. We know who we are. All right. Very good. Yeah. Um, I, I just I brought that up because, you know, you, you talk about your your life and how you don't really enjoy technology. You kind of keep you kind of take a back seat to that. I think last time we talked about how you describe yourself a little bit as a Luddite. I don't know if I'm a Luddite, but I don't keep up. Right. Like I don't like I need someone to show me how to do things. I'm not going to sit and learn how to do something. I obviously am engaged with technology. I do a podcast. Sure. I'm on Twitter a lot. But Twitter's, I mean, pretty much the forefront of the whole thing. I'll definitely use social media pl yeah. platforms, and I like it. I have a good time. But I don't understand how things work. Right. And I don't, I'm not up to date when people are like, do you have TweetDeck? No. Yeah. Do you have Instagram? No. You don't. Do you Vine? No. You're not do a you, Viner. Uh, huh? You're not a Viner guy? Nah. No, I'm not, I'm not really into I don't, I don't have time. I don't have six seconds. I hear you. I hear you. You're really into uh, cats, though? I have a couple cats. I mean, I'm into them, but you know, they're the longest relationships I've had in my adult life is those two cats. 
That's so they're my cats. I mean, it's not like I'm out rescuing cats. I feed some cats outside. I have my cats. Yeah. And yeah, they're part of my life. You're a little defensive with the cat thing. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have another cat. He's gone. Yeah. But um, but I, I came to cats not out of like this need to save cats. I just these specific cats were in trouble, so I saved them, and I'm attached to them. Sure, I get but that. I'm I've not on a cat dog. mission. But like the cat thing, I just like you said before. Perhaps we had, we, we were on the same vibe with a lot of stuff. The cat thing, I just don't. I don't get it. But yeah, I bring it up because you're like you're you're uh, you know you're a guy that doesn't do much self analysis. I do dog. I love dogs though. I know dogs are very upfront. You know, cats are mysterious. They're kind of geniuses. You know, no one ever says like that. My dog. What's my dog thinking about? You know, you're, you're, he's thinking about eating, or he's like on you. No, but you know, cats are like cats. They got a plan. There's things going on. You, you don't know where they're coming from. You, you, like you have to really earn their respect and appreciation. I and I I appreciate that. I respect that. Cats will turn on you the second you kill over, though. They'll eat you. Sure. You die in that apartment, they'll eat you. You know what? The dog, dog will, will figure out how to what? call someone. I think you're hanging a lot of hope on your dog. Well, I'm not planning on dropping dead, dropping dead in front of him. I think that, like, that. okay, so let's say he barks and calls for help, no yeah. help, and he's hungry. Eventually, you're going. You're, how you're, many days will go by, though? And if Before he, you go rancid? Well, and, or, like, my wife will come home. You well, know see, now you've saying? added a component. Another dimension? We, we're, we're talking a fictional situation yeah. where I think the animal will eventually do what it has to do. I just, when I see a cat, I see like a selfish thing that's just, it's like a parasite. That's what I see when I see cats. Oh, you're one of those people. It's like well, no different than a rodent. No, no, it's, it's definitely in a higher class than a rodent, well, than like nice a common either. street rat. Right. But have you heard, have you heard of this thing where like cats have this weird fungal sort of bacteria yeah. that can eat your brain away? Yeah. What do you think of that? What? What? <laughs> nice. That's <pretty laughs> nice. All right. I bring up cats. Have you heard about this cat cafe? No. Pull, Ariel, pull this up for me, dude. Cat cafe. New, there's a cat cafe in New York. You only have 24 hours here. You have to go to this cat cafe. You can oh, like dine. About that. You dine with cats. Why anyone would want to do this is beyond me. You, okay, I get it. You don't like cats, I but I, I, mean, I don't need other people's cats. My cats are fine. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm thought not, I was just gonna like make your day with this cat cafe thing, and it's just no. Not you got me it. pegged for like this like uh, hopeless cat guy, and I'm I'm very specifically at my cat guy. I appreciate cats. Yeah. I have an understanding with them. Sure, they do show affection. They are entertaining. They uh, they can be very warm. Sure. they're just a little fickle, and gotcha. you know you don't like that kind of inconsistency. You just like everything to be upfront and shallow, which is fine. Shallow? I'm getting shallow. You're the dog guy. They're not shallow. It's a reason they're man's best friend. Well, there's, there's no like cliche for cats. Huh? There's, huh? What do you mean, huh? Man's best friend. Man's, That's right. Man's best friend. Man, the 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 we the, like That's man. That's right. You like, know why? Why? It's because it's, it's not a misogynistic always there. thing. They're always there. Look, he likes me no matter what I do. Exactly. Even if I hit him, he likes no, me. No, that's not true. Sure, it is. You a, a dog won't come back after you beat the crap out of it. It'll I, or it'll bite I, you. I don't know. You're expecting it to call for help. I imagine that it'll come back if you. You hit him for a reason. You got to train him. Yeah. How do you train your dog? Repetition, reward, oh. positive energy, positive feedback. And that worked. What? That's the new way. That's no. That's always the way, man. No, that, when I grew up, is like you smack him and you stick his nose in it. N well, that's if it shits in the house, but that's still that's in effect. Yeah, that's in effect. But he doesn't. Because he, he was nice, we told it not to. No, we just rewarded it for going outside. And oh. I was like, oh, I can get into this. Okay. You're going to repeat this? I'll repeat that. That's it. All right. Simple. Exactly. Shallow. Whatever, man. You live right. with your cat's crap in your house. That's weird to me. They crap in a box. They don't even need to be taught That's anything. That's so weird. Why is that weird? They're because geniuses. I don't need to reward it for crapping where it's supposed to crap. I understand. That's a, that's a smart thing. But it's just odd to me that we essentially, like cat owners essentially just like coexist with Cat feces and Really? Piss. Do you walk down the street collecting your dog shit? Yeah, but I bat? throw it out in the corner. I you don't touch it with your hand. Not my bare go, hand. Right. So you, okay. So my cat goes in a box. I take a little scoop. I put it in yeah. the garbage and throw it out. You have to wait it's still for in your, your house, dog though. to poo. It's still in your house. For a man. little while. I get exercise. I get to walk. I get to see the world. You can justify it however you want. But I think that, in, that time will really tell who well, is more tragic yeah in terms of their relationship with animals the guy walking behind his dog with a bag picking up warm poop 
you know, in the winter, it's not that bad. You'd be surprised. Yeah, no, I'm sure. So now you're finding a silver lining to take picking up poop. Yep. My cats are like, oh, I wonder if they pooped in the last week. Oh, yep. I'm going to clean the box. Oh, cool. I've been watching TV 40 feet away from that. Yeah. And you're just, why are you so afraid of poop? I mean, you know, they bury it usually. Not yeah. so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know when they do it. Yeah. I try to clean the box every day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get off the cat crap for a little bit and we'll talk about relationships a little more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, that you sound like you don't want to do that. I'll talk about whatever you want. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you. Have you oh, good, good. That's great. That's what I wanted to accomplish today. Actually, <laughs> sick. Uh, you ever like? Uh, how do you go about dating? Do you? Do you never you, done it? You Seems have. awkward to me. No, no. You, you tell no, I, you tell everyone about your 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 life. I know, but they're not dating. All right, but relationships. How do you start oh. a relationship? How does that come? Do you they use usually, like a, an app? Or something? No, I meet people. The last relationship I met her, she reached out to me. I met her at a show, and then yeah. she emailed me. The last, the the that was the one before this one. The, the the one that I just got out of. I'd known her for twenty years. Yeah, had a lot of hopes for that one. Then I was living in a fantasy world. Okay, I love her, but it just couldn't work with us. Um, you know, I and the 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 second wife. I'm she was a fan. So like usually in the world I live in, there's no apps. Sure. There's no, you know, J dates. You know, there's sort of like, hey, you're Mark Marin. I'm like, yeah, what's your name? All right. You want to move in? That quick. That's like the second step. Yeah. You know, and then like the Not third day, dinner. second step, you move in. The third step, you go to couples counseling. All right. Yeah. And what's four? Come Break on up. the show. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. No, I mean, I, it, like things go bad. But uh, look, I'm, I'll, I'll keep trying maybe in a little while. I think I need to, to, you know, I need to um, get back in shape okay. emotionally. All right. Yeah, I'll try. I, I think you're on the road to that. Yeah, I got it. There's a couple of tweaks I got to make inside my brain. All right. We'll make those tweaks. We're all going to watch the new season of Marin. Yeah. Uh, FC starting this it's Thursday. Cats, so you can be okay with cats? Well, like... it's also, I'm allergic to them. I didn't, oh, dis- so, oh, I didn't so disclose you, that. That's the part uh, you didn't. See, that was the game. You were supposed to figure that out. You're supposed to say, wait a minute, are you allergic to cats? No, we'll see what's happened here is that cats have trained you like you train your dog not to like them. Right. Enjoy that parasite brain thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> scooping up poop with your hands. I do. Hoping that a dog will call the police if there's a problem. No, I just wanted to dial 911. That's all. Sure. It- sure, lassie. <laughs> Uh, and also Thinky Pain. Yes, I wanted to plug that special. real quick. The special's out now on CD, vinyl. It's on CD, vinyl, DVD. Um, you can also watch it for free on Netflix if you have Netflix. Cool. But, but if you want to hold it, there's right. many different ways you can hold it. Great. And then also... And you don't um, need to put a plastic bag on your hand for any of those ways. No, totally sanitary. Uh, and then uh, also check out this week's episode of uh, This American Life. You have an essay that you... Uh, no, he just interviewed me. I just had just a conversation with right. Ira. He was putting together a drug episode. And he's like, I wonder if Mark can help me. Yeah, he just thought drugs and you were yeah, like, number yeah. one. Yeah, he's like, he called me and we talked for an hour. And I, I don't know what he used. I got to listen to it. All right, very cool. That's on this uh, uh, week's episode of This American Life. Follow Mark on Twitter, at Mark Marin. That's Mark with a C. Yeah. And uh, can you make it like a third time next year? And then we'll have like a... Then it's always. Then it's a real thing. Yeah, this was good. I think so, it went well. Started off dicey. I think you felt like... No, it. I think it was great all through. All really? the way through, yeah. This I'm is, positive. This went it's exactly as you planned it. Look, I didn't know what I was going to get with you. How does this relate to other interviews you do? I think it's above average. Oh, Well boy. above average. Uh, above average. Didn't give you credit for the grab. Right, that's what I... Come on, you're going to use that? And what, is, what, what is it exactly? No credit for the grab. No credit for the grab. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's going to do it for us, guys. Shoot me an email, the 404 at CNET.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and all that junk. We're back here tomorrow with a brand new show. Until then, I'm Jeff Bacalar. Thank you again to Mr. Mark Marin. Thanks, Jeff. It's always Thank a pleagger. We'll yep. see you guys soon. Bye-bye.